Deep inside an aquatic laboratory on UAB's campus, Professor Steve Watts and his team have found a better way to grow shrimp using, well, droppings from sea urchins. In some cases, we had our shrimp together with our sea urchins. They interacted very well, and we noticed that the shrimp had a tendency to congregate around the sea urchins and would sometimes consume the waste pellets that came from these sea urchins. So it looked like that there might be some type of synergy there. That synergy started with these sea urchin pellets, which are full of healthy bacteria and help the shrimp grow faster and larger than they would when consuming top of the line shrimp food. You do not have to use shrimp feed to grow these shrimp when you have urchins present. Worldwide, most of the shrimp that we're gonna consume is grown in ponds. Not so much of it is caught in the ocean anymore. When it's grown in ponds, they usually produce some type of shrimp feed, and this can be quite expensive. These are billion dollar industries. Growing shrimp in a polyculture system when one animal supports another without needing feed at all could revolutionize the development of aquaculture. What surprised us was not only did they grow, they grew very well. In an aquaculture system, food accounts for about 60% of the total cost of growing the animals. By eliminating the need for traditional food, everyone benefits, but how do they taste? To evaluate their worth to the restaurant industry, Watts' team brought the sea urchin grown shrimp to world-renowned chef Chris Hastings at Birmingham's Hot and Hot Fish Club. We needed his sophisticated palate to look at the shrimp that we have been rearing in with the sea urchins. Obviously, a large shrimp is very notable, but a large shrimp that tastes really good is going to be far more important to us. This is kind of for me, this is this is the stuff I spend my entire life searching out is the very finest ingredients. Moments like these are the kind of the most exciting thing I do. Because I know but you know what it means for me as a chef? I know then I have a hope and, uh, and a chance to achieve what we dream in terms of cooking. You can't you can't um, you can't achieve those dreams with less than perfect product. Based on the flavor alone, so Watts' is, shrimp really passed Chef so Hastings taste test. Whatever the diet is that you're feeding these shrimp, I, I, I totally approve. But supporting sustainable aquaculture that tastes good and is healthy was an even larger goal for this project. I'm telling you, if you did a side by side with any shrimp grown in a pond in the world, you know, that's not done sustainably in a closed loop with organic, you know, uh, food as it's uh, as its source in a clean, healthy environment, and you taste it next to your shrimp, it, you can the, the the flavor, the texture, um, uh, everything about your shrimp is world class compared to that. You should be very proud of this. We all know the world needs more protein. The seas cannot support overfishing. As Watts's team continues to build on the success of this research, they'll look to expand to other aquatic species. With the number of individuals in this world increasing and the need for protein, aquaculture is going to be the only mechanism by which we are going to be able to enhance fish protein production. It's all we have.